Hey everybody! Let's see if I'm happy with the framing this time or if I'm going to adjust the darn thing again like I always do because I'm picky and finicky like that. Hope everyone's doing all right. It's been um, it's been a, it's been an odd uh, sort of chunk of time. Uh, so normally, um, well, I was going to say normally around this time, let me adjust this just a bit, that's better. Uh, but normally um, around, mid, uh, around mid July or sometimes around this time, I would have gone on a family vacation with my daughter and her mother, except the place that we normally go for a five-day vacation is closed. So what we did instead was we hopped the border to New Hampshire uh, and did three days, a much more scaled-down version in somewhere else. And I just got back from that, so it was, it was much more low-key, but it was nice, and it was pleasant, and I got, I don't know if you can tell from my nose, uh, mildly sunburnt. And thanks to the fact that all I have for swimming is a, um, is a swimming shirt, um, I don't have a, I don't have like a bikini top or a tankini that I'm comfortable in, which means after having avoided it the rest of the summer, I have finally ended up with the dang farmer's tan. It cuts off right there. <sighs> I managed to get, go without getting one this far into the summer and then... Mm, end of July. Tell me, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? I just ask that of all my prey. I just like the sound of it. Tomorrow is my birthday, so it goes, oh, happy birthday, leprechaun master. That is an odd sentence for me to say, but I'm enjoying it. New Hampshire pride. Yeah, I like, I like New Hampshire. I like it better now. New Hampshire... New Hampshire was where I worked. New Hampshire was where the job that I didn't really like and worked at for almost 10 years, that was in New Hampshire. How's tricks? I'm I'm getting by. I'm I'm doing okay. Um still figuring stuff out, still still juggling things. The I'm I'm feeling pretty I I don't, I don't want to get over optimistic because it's it's not there yet, but I feel like I have a shot at getting things in a place where this, well, this and the Patreon might actually be my living. Um, I'm not there yet. It, I'm, I'm closer than, I'm, than I've ever been, though, like tantalizingly close. We'll see what happens in the next few months. Uh, good day. Hope you're faring well. Uh, would life be interesting if we all reverted to 16th century bard speech? Actual 16th century bard speech? No. The uh, the pop culture understanding? What ho, my fair lords and lasses and all those betwixt? Yeah, that'd be fun. I don't tan, I burn. Yeah, that it's funny. I shouldn't be able to tan as far as most of my um, as far as most of my lineage goes, um, <laughs> because I'm mostly English and a bit of German. Um, but I actually do tan, and it's it's going to sound like a joke, but I'm serious. <laughs> I can tan because an Egyptian sailor got lost. I, I have a bit of Egyptian in me because a sailor ended up where he wasn't supposed to be and that got in the mix and I can tan when by all rights I should not be able to. Uh, and I, I don't want to claim that like, a, oh, I'm part of this, like I, I, I know nothing about that end of like heritage, um, but like I do know what's in there. Uh, you have such a beautiful singing voice, you should do cover songs. I mean, there's a couple of reasons I don't. The first is, like, I don't have the confidence in my singing voice um, to get through a whole song. Like, if I sing, like, you get little bits from me because that's what I'm, I'm confident in, especially without accompaniment, and I can't play an instrument. Um, and then there's the other thing, which is stuff gets flagged. 
so fast. It's ridiculous. Hello, I bring chicken nuggies. <laughs> uh, I love your doctor cosplay TikTok. Just one question. Can I be your new companion, please? I'm taking applications. It's got, it's got to be a vetting process. Uh, so I didn't get cast in 12 Angry Men, but I have a therapist I'm seeing next week. I'm sorry you didn't get cast. Uh, that is a really fun show. That's a really cool show to get to be able to do. Um, but I hope your therapy goes well, Castile. Watchmen has the most Emmy nominations this year. I still need to see it. Oops. Found a new job yet? Hope you have. I have not. Um, I am looking. I'm... I, I am really, I'm trying to find something that is a nine to five weekday job because, you know, I do have my kid and she's starting up school again. I don't want something that's going to bleed into evenings or weekends. So, you know, and, and I, I'm not going to move. So the job market where I am is, it's a little tight. Hope you had a good week. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, got a close tonight. It ticked me off because my boss didn't even ask me if I could. He just rewrote the schedule, so I'd close tonight and tomorrow. Oh, fun. Those are fun bosses. Loved your fixing Ghostbusters video. What other films do you want to fix? I don't know. See, the thing is, the, the, the response to that video was not dissimilar to the response to the video I did on the death of Superman, which is that the people who like who watched it really liked it, but the views were low versus what is typical for me. So it's hard to justify doing that format again when it didn't yield that much view, you know, subscriber revenue sort of thing. That being said, Feasibly, you could make an argument that maybe it would do better with a more recent movie, except movies aren't really coming out right now. And most of the movies that I could think of, um, or even seasons of television that I can think of that I would want to do, are also way out of date. Um, so I... Of the ones that I feel like I could actually produce a script and, and a video on, I don't know if they do any better than the Ghostbusters 2. And then it just becomes a the amount of work compared to what it yielded question. Um, and it's the, it's the sort of thing like um, if, if, if my bills were firmly covered where maybe I'd be more willing to roll the dice. But since I'm trying to edge them up to where my bills will be covered, um, I, I need to try and find things that, that land a little bit harder. Uh, backing up, backing up, backing up. Questions are coming, <laughs> are coming fast and I'm falling behind already. Uh, let's see. Success is within your guts. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you very much. Had a guy question my new bisexual pride tattoo today. He asked what it was and I said it's because I'm a proud bisexual man. He said man can't be bi. The stream makes me feel better. Oh, God's sake. Bisexual erasure is one of the most frustrating things. And it's one of the most persistent things. And the really irritating thing is that it's very persistent even within the LGBTQ community. Like, my, my partner's bisexual. And, but, you know, she's dating me. And prior to me, her longest term, you know, partner was was a man. And obviously with me, it's sort of an odd thing, but you know, she dated a guy for so long that the idea that she was bisexual threw people off. And, you know, if, if they know she's dating me, they know, okay, there, maybe there's something going on, but people don't clock her as anything other than straight, which kind of annoys her on a, on a fundamental level. But um, with bisexual men, here's the thing. I feel like, I feel like the stereotypical response actually goes in opposite direct, direct, directions. I can speak between men and women with women who claim they're bisexual. It's usually chalked up to you're actually straight. You're going through a phase. And for men who claim to be bisexual, they get told, no, you're just gay and don't want to admit it. 
both of which are plausible. I'm not going to say neither of which ever happens, but is a really nonsense response to give to somebody. But y you hear it a lot, even still. Again, like, I... <sighs> I identify as pansexual, although I lean very heavily towards um, towards women, and that includes trans women. But, you know, I, I also look the way I look. So I don't think, I don't think it, it throws, I, since I don't, I'm not straight passing. I'm not, I'm not straight cis passing anymore. I don't think it throws people off as much, and they're more prepared to believe that I'm just a insane kinky sexual deviant, which, you know, that's an unfair assumption. It's true, but it's unfair. Uh, speaking of my username, I was in a bright green bowler hat. I am a redhead. And a guy called me a leprechaun. A stranger. Yes. Wow. Okay. Uh, I got the five volume time of Hitchhiker. Ooh, sweet. You fix Ghostbusters too, will you fix anything else? I mean, like, some of the things that are on a list to maybe consider fixing... I'm trying to remember. I wrote some down. Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp was on that list. Off the top of my head, I can't remember what else was. There were some other things on there. Suicide Squad I put on the list, but that one's a question mark because I don't know if I could add anything to it that Folding Ideas didn't unpack. At least in terms of the describing what's wrong. I guess he didn't talk all that much about how it could have been done better. Just snip. That was something he touched on snippets across it. New patron alone from Scotland Yard, codenamed The Doctor. <laughs> yes, I tweeted this to you. I just wanted to re-say it because it was the first thing I bought with my first paycheck. Mwah. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. If you're really close to doing this for a living, I've got some spare organs <laughs> waiting by and some scissors and tape. Let's do this. Let's uh, maybe hold off on that step. I'm mostly English, a quarter Irish, Scots, Wells, 8% Scandinavian, 20% 20 20 Greek. Interesting mix, pirates. Uh, did you do one of the DNA tests? No, actually, I have, um, I have a relative out in California who, like, long before that was a thing... It did exhaustive genealogy. So, like, I know genealogy, my genealogy, going back an insanely far distance. Um, and, like, qu quite, a, quite a bit of it as well. Like, I, I cannot... Re Again, they're written down somewhere. I cannot remember off the top of my head. But I, I have relatives who came over on the Mayflower. Uh, so... I'm I'm very much a New England wasp. If people don't know that, phrase, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. Uh, yeah, that's that's my heritage by and large. Well, thank you, Amanda. Might help you get a wee bit closer. <laughs> that is appreciated. Uh, you're funny when you do your drunk reviews. I have one of those on the docket, and I have a couple of other things that I, if I watch, they'd have to be drunk reviews. Like if I watch Fan Four Stick. That's going to be a drunk review. Uh, I don't care what it takes. You will sing Doctor in Distress one day. Sing it? I don't know. I do still need to watch it. Uh, opinions on Orange is the New Black. Have you seen it? I've seen the first two seasons. I thought the first season was okay. Second season was great. And everything I've heard about the seasons after that, I don't want to watch it. I don't care. So as far as I'm concerned, it was a two-season show and ended fantastically. Uh, thank you for reminding me. Say hi to your latest $5 Patreon sub. Thank you so much. I've got so many names to update in the, um, in the credits. Because I, I do that at the start of the month. Because I wait for, um, you know, for everybody to be clear from the month uh, before, before I do an update. And so that I'm not also updating it continuously for every video. But I've got, I've got so many names to add. The, the, the credit scroll is going to go a lot faster to fit those, all those names in the same amount of time. And that's, that is a good problem to have, and I'm happy to have it. It's kind of ironic that it took your unemployment for your Patreon to get a high boost. It is funny how that worked out, isn't it? Hello, nice to see your happy face. Love the blue. Thank you. Looks great on you. I'm off to work now. Hospital admin work is never done. We'll watch later. Well... 
have a good uh, evening at work, Sammy. Gotten any further with Harley Quinn Season 2? Nope, haven't started it yet. Uh, the new Red Dwarf and the new trailer for Bill and Ted. Oh, there was a new trailer. I missed that. Um, has the new Red Dwarf hit BritBox yet? That's what I'm waiting, because I know it comes. it's coming to that. I, I haven't checked lately to see if it hit yet. So now we've seen what your doctor looks like. What would your master look or be like? I don't know. Like that one, I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. I really like your character analysis of the fifth fifth doctor. Mr. Tardis review says the fifth doctor is a good man who constantly beats himself up because he can't be a better one. That's an interesting perspective. Um, and I feel like I, um, like maybe next time I watch a fifth doctor uh, story, I'll try and watch it with that in mind. Uh, what is your TikTok handle? It's at Vera Wild. Um, I just got my first pride flags. Bi and gender fluid and love them. Lovely. Very nice. Uh, please can you react to Doctor in Distress? I plan to. When I watch it, I will have a camera set up. It'll be a reaction. It'll be a thing. Fixing Batman versus Superman? No. No. Like, <laughs> I, I would not be able to banish... Um, movie bobs epic like god altogether probably four hours worth of dissection of that from my mind and he even included like things that he would do to make it better so i i don't trust myself to be able to come up with suggestions that wouldn't be influenced by what he did um so that one definitely not Um, one of my friends is a little jealous because she read the last of my, the last script for my audio spinoff and another character has better lines than her. That can happen. Sometimes when you do projects for friends, you get the script, you go, oh, you, you wrote me a crap part. I wanted this part. Like, yeah, I've, I've, I've been there a little, not, not like was written for, but I've been in like plays directed by friends who, who didn't cast me in the part I wanted. And I like, I got over it, but you know, I've, I've been there. Uh, do you listen to any stand-up? If so, favorite comedian? Mulaney for me. Mulaney's very good. I don't listen to a lot of recent stand-up. Um, the most recent stand-up that I have listened to is John Mulaney and uh, Hannah Gadsby. I mean, I, gr I grew up on George Carlin. Absolutely love George Carlin. I like him up until... Um, about the late 90s getting into the 2000s he, he lost me a little bit he sort of I feel like he he just he got a little too angry for my taste not without cause I got why but uh, I didn't enjoy his work as much at that point uh, favorite character from each Arrowverse show okay there's some Arrowverse shows I've only ever watched for the crossovers and there's some I still haven't seen but of the ones I've seen at least some episodes of um, Arrow, I liked Felicity. I've only ever seen the crossover, the crossover episodes for that. Um, for, uh, Flash, it was, uh, Iris's dad. I only watched the first two seasons of that, so I can't remember his name now. Um, Legends of Tomorrow, probably Mick. Um, and then... Black Lightning, I need to get back into. I, I, did, I only did a few episodes. I didn't really pick a favorite. Um, Supergirl, actually, right now, it's Lex Luthor. I'm, I'm working my way through season four. I'm loving this Lex Luthor. Uh, and then what else is there? Batwoman, I haven't seen. I'm probably forgetting something. There's, there's too many of these dang shows. Not sure if I missed it or seen it on a previous live stream, but I'm curious what is on your necklace. Oh, this is um, Robin from season three of Stranger Things. Um, Liz got, got we got matching ones, and we sometimes trade off with them. So there's Robin and there's Steve, both in their, um, their outfits from Scoops Ahoy, I think it was. Uh, you know, they're sort of nautical nerd outfits. Um, so we each have one of those. I have a transgender symbol tattooed on my ribs so I can hide it if needed. What are your thoughts on visible stuff like that? 
I'd say power to you. I mean, you're also asking somebody who has no tattoos, visible or otherwise. So I'm not necessarily sure I'm the, I'm the best opinion to get. Um, but I power to you. Sorry to bring this up and won't mind if you don't want to answer. Oh, boy. Do you think they'll make more Fantastic Beasts? Warner Brothers want the money, but you know who has got creative control. Here's the thing. Because J.K. Rowling, and yes, I'm going to say her name. She's not she who must not be named. She's not, no, she's a human being. I'll use her name. She's a human being who I'm insanely frustrated with, but I'm not going to treat her like a supervillain. J.K. Rowling ha hasn't just made this a thing that she said once. She's made this a crusade. She's made this a thing she keeps saying, uh, a cause that she has taken up and a position that she has decided to keep doubling down on over and over and over and over again. So this puts Warner Brothers in a very tough situation because normal um, executive logic would be wait for things to blow over. But the thing is, it's not going to blow over because she's not going to stop talking. And what that means for them is they are going to, I mean, yes, they still want the money. They're not just going to let the, the um, rights lapse. They'll do whatever they have to do to hold on to them because you need to realize Warner Brothers has so much more has money sunk into so much more than just the movies all the merch is merch related to the films not the books so um they've got a lot of money tied up in that franchise but they're in a position where normally what they would want to do is distance themselves from her but they can't because of the amount of her the amount of control that she still exerts on that, uh, on that property. And the fact that she wrote the last two scripts, which I probably, I think they probably wouldn't have wanted her to do, but she had the authority to be able to do that. So I think they're going to have a very hard time getting another one off the ground. I think if they do it, they're going to want to do it a vastly reduced budget. I think they're going to have a hard time getting Eddie Redmayne back. It's going to de depend on the wording of contracts as to whether or not they can force him to come back or not. If they can, they'll probably want to negotiate J.K. Rowling into an advisory role and not actually writing the script itself. They may or may not have the ability to do that, again, depending on contracts. I don't know. Like, I, I honestly don't know at this point. Now, that said, if another one gets made, I'm not going to watch it. I'm just not. And it, for me, it's, it's more than just my ticket goes towards supporting her financially and lending to her clout and power, knowing how she is now choosing to wield it. I don't want to see Harry Potter stuff. I hope that I will again at some point, but right now I just don't. Uh, I won't be going to see it if they do. Um, Rowling will be distraught to find out she's lost my personal support. Yes, I'm sure she will. Uh, I actually keep forgetting that my older sister is pansexual even though she's married to a guy. I mean, like... When someone's in a long-term relationship for for a, quite a significant amount of time with one person, you tend to think, oh, that's what they are. So, you know, if in the case of your sister, if she's married to a man, you think, oh, she's straight. But I mean, her interests in other genders don't go away just because she decided to be monogamous with a guy. But like, I get it. Op optics, you keep seeing her with this guy. And so like, that's kind of how your brain tries to simplify life life isn't simple so that's something that the human brain does that kind of works against us uh let's see survival is revenge at this point um yeah i can feel that way sometimes Uh, if they're releasing the snyder cut of justice league do you think they'll do the same with all the cut footage from suicide squad um, no, I don't think they can. Because the thing is, there isn't... 
Well, let me reword this. I wouldn't put it past Warner Brothers to try and market a director's cut of Suicide Squad. The thing is, they they are not going to throw the money behind it to do what they're doing with Justice League. Because you need to understand, Suicide Squad was changed, the significant parts of the script were changed at the last minute on very short notice. And that's part of why the movie was such a mess. It... I haven't rewatched it in a long time, but it very much feels like a movie that was shot with the intention of figuring out what the movie was in the edit, but then the edit was taken away from the director and it was re-edited by three different groups and then mashed up into the monstrosity that we ended up with. But one kind of presumes that what the raw footage they were working with probably didn't fit together all that coherently anyways. So, and I don't think there's as much a call. I don't think people feel like they were robbed of a great Suicide Squad movie. At least, I I mean, maybe there are. If there are, they're not as loud as the Snyder Cut people. They just aren't. I think I'm half Scottish. Oh, lovely. My father's a genealogist. Very cool. Any LGBT uh, precedents in your past? Not that I know of off the top of my head. Probably. But not, not that I know of. Apparently, I'm descendant um, from Gypsy, so God knows where I'm from. Fair enough. Heathers or Mean Girls? I've never seen Heathers. There's a lot of stuff from the 80s I missed. According to my dad, I'm related to American artist Norman Rockmel Rockwell. Ooh, cool. Uh, puts down scissors, throws them, <laughs> throws them away from organs. God, you're worse than my dad. <laughs> Need a drinking partner? Always. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I feel like I've asked you how to pronounce that before and, I, and I've now lost it. Um, do you worry that to build the channel further, you might need to go negative for the buzz hits? Please don't. Um, I don't want to. Like, here's the, like, I've known for a while, negative stuff gets more views than positive. I'm well aware of that like I've had the metrics to back that up for at least three years that I know that for a fact and when I feel I have something that I need to say that is negative I will say it but I'm not going to construct you know deliberately try and construct things to be negative for the sake of trying to grow the channel faster because I'd be growing it on the back of stuff that I don't want to do and that's not healthy for me <laughs> Would you consider making how to fix it videos on Doctor Who episodes? Uh, you basically do that in some reviews, uh, but could become part of the other series. Is like I'm <sighs> the one that came to mind would possibly be how to fix series seven. Because the problems of series seven are pretty unique, and it's also a series that pretty much everyone agrees is does not work and is clunky there's some disagreement on where it fails some people feel the second half is better some people people feel the first half is better but the fact that it is two distinct halves that don't join smoothly one to the other is obviously a problem um i'm not promising that because i haven't thought on it long enough to figure out if i have a take that is worth talking about but would i consider it yes I am. Uh, I just got a Doctor Who mystery box. What do you think I'll get? I don't know, but I'd love to hear. Uh, when is the Time Lord of Victoria coming out? September, last I knew. Um, if they moved anything forward, I didn't catch that. Um, I am so far behind. Sorry. Give me a second. Uh... Wow. Holy cow. I'm so far behind on questions. My great-grandfather had a family tree he wrote up, said we were mainly Bulgarian. Turns out it was fake. We were mainly Irish and Scottish. <laughs> no wonder so many of us are alcoholics. Uh, see, the thing is, like, I've got genealogy backed up on both sides of my family because... <sighs> I've got the same relative on both sides of my family. Like, it's so far back, it doesn't matter. But you remember how I mentioned I have uh, relatives who came over... I had a relative who came over in the Mayflower? Yeah, it's the same relative on both sides of my family. So, 
my family tree is a wreath. It rejoins quite a ways back. Again, like it's so far back that it's meaningless. But yeah. So I've I've got the I've got the I've got at least up to the Mayflower connection um, backed up by genealogy done on both sides of my family by different people. Uh, first stream I've watched of yours. Thanks for all the awesome work. Thank you, Alice. Nice to have you here. Uh, you wouldn't look like the master, uh, for I am the master and you will obey me. Is that what you've got? Shouting? No. Call me master. Okay. Uh, so listen, review tomorrow. In my opinion, the most overrated episode certainly of New Who. I actually don't know what the popular opinion of listen is anymore. I know it was a pretty, it was pretty well liked when that one aired. I don't know what people think right now. How much would we have to bribe you to get you watch Doctor in, Dis in Distress live? Um, I don't know if I could figure out how to do it live. I think you're going to have to settle for a reaction. Uh, how to fix Batman versus Superman. Turn off the screen. Yeah, that would do it. Have you heard of The Hollow on Netflix? I have not. I don't know if this was commented, but Dipper is a cool character because he's 12 but tries to act 16. That's why at some points he's selfish because he's trying to grow up faster. I get that, but, you know, I'm an adult. That's a, that's an angle that doesn't connect with me as well. Uh, loved your Ghostbusters 2 video. I normally hate how to fix video, but I enjoyed yours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's great. Fixing the Timeless Child, simple. Make it anyone other than the doctor. That's it. Uh, it's not that she doesn't like her part. She loves it, but I gave the other character all the better one-liners. Ah, oh, the snappy bits. Yep. Uh, ever played a Pokemon game? I played a very small amount of Pokemon Yellow in like 2000. Any advice for setting up something like an online table read for a script in terms of how best to make it accessible or pleasant for people? I mean, my recommendation would be Zoom. At this point, you know, I've done um, I've done video conferencing over a bunch of apps from Skype to Discord to Zoom. Zoom has been the most reliable by a heavy margin. So um, I would recommend that. And I mean, if, if you're asking how to conduct a table read, I just make sure everyone has a script, know their, know their parts, and that somebody's there to read out the, um, you know, the direction parts. Uh, do you think New Who could pull off a black and white episode? If so, any suggestions of what the story would be like? Um, they probably could. I'd have to think about it, though. Assuming they have cats, how many lives does a Gallifreyan cat have? Um, well, theoretically, it would be... Uh, 117. Yeah. I've watched Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog uh, and Iris's dad's name, Joe. Joe, yes, thank you. Um, yes, I've watched Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog. I haven't re-watched it in a long time, um, but I have seen it. By the way, you need to be drunk to watch Doctor in Distress. Just an advisory warning. We'll see when we get there. Um, Doom Patrol... Uh, complete with cosplay. Hmm. I'm curious now. I finished season two of Angel. I'm just so annoyed I'll never see Drusilla properly again. I've already finished Buffy. I do like Drusilla. I, I don't love her as much as some people, but I do enjoy her. My grandmother had a tattoo of Blackpool Tower up her back with the words, Kiss Me Quick, next to it. Wow, that's you had an interesting grandmother. Next performance uh, you should do, never gonna give you up, it just turned 26 yesterday. Uh, no. The, the thing is though, I do have, um, I do have a deep enough voice to be able to do that song. Like I, I've gotten used to sort of finding the middle ground between, you know, with my voice at this point. Um, Cause if I deliberately pitch it up, it ends up a bit more up here. Um, so I kind of settle in around here, but I can bring it down. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. 
Can't sing any more than that because don't want to get demonetized again. Uh, reviewing Shakespeare Code. Huh, that's another one I haven't rewatched and don't really want to for obvious reasons. Um, being backed by Norm Chomsky isn't a good cure for hubris. I think I missed something on that one. Uh, JK's latest attack leaves no doubt she's just misinformed but trying to do good. <sighs> See, the thing is, she does. She thinks she knows, and that and that's what makes what she's doing so hazardous. She she believes she's right, and she believes she knows what she's talking about, and that's that's what's kind of depressing about it. My Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast Blu-rays are currently hidden out of sight at the back of my wardrobe. Fair, favorite Ferrell movie. I don't really like Will Ferrell. Um, I mean, my favorite movie that he was in is probably Lego Movie. If you want a movie that like he stars in, I suppose probably Stranger Than Fiction. I don't really like Will Ferrell all that much. Uh, what do you think about Aliens 3? Um, I would like it if they didn't kill Newt. And that's a very easy fix to do. Just have Ripley's... Crowd to be the only one that's compromised and the only one ejected. And then Newt and Hicks stay on board the ship and they fly off and she crash lands. As opposed to having them all crash land, killing Hicks, who I don't care about, and killing Newt, who I do care about, because that invalidates the entire climax of the previous film. I mean, that is a massive original sin I have a hard time forgiving the film for. If I remove that fact from my mind, it's not bad. It's pretty good, even. I'm also one of the weirdos that thinks the theatrical cut is better than the assembly cut. I think I just like it because it's tighter. Uh, what did J.K. Rowling do? The only thing I heard was that she did was pretty bad. Oh, boy. Okay. As short as I can, J.K. Rowling has taken a very anti-trans position while claiming to not be against trans people, which really infuriates me because people will go, but she says she likes trans people. Weren't you reading? Yes, I read the whole thing as opposed to just that one sentence. She, um, she has latched on to all of the worst myths about trans people, especially trans youth. And if you want a full breakdown, I would recommend going to Jamie Dodger's YouTube. Uh, he and his fiance do an excellent breakdown point by point of everything wrong with her position. So if you want a full breakdown of what she said and why it's wrong, that's where I would recommend going. Vince Gilligan said, even though he created the world of Breaking Bad, he doesn't want to oversee, uh, his welcome in the world itself. I think all authors need to do this, including... Uh, oh, he didn't want to overstay his welcome. I think all authors need to do this, including Rowling. Um, well, I mean, it's hard to compare the two because Breaking Bad isn't franchisable the way, um, the way that Harry Potter is. And not to mention, like, I don't know Vince Gilligan a ton, but, like, to my understanding, like, he had been working in television for a while. Harry Potter was J.K. Rowling's first book, first published work. So, you know, he has, a, he has a background in working in something, letting it go, and then doing something else. Even though she's written other stuff, she's never had to let go of Harry Potter. And that was the first thing she ever did. And I think that's probably part of the reason why she doesn't want to. Uh, reviewing Shakespeare Code, a few lines hit differently with more recent knowledge of Gareth Roberts, like Martha pointing out men dress as women, the doctor replies, London never changes. Yeah, I, th I think you left that in a comment. Um, yeah, that was, that was rough. I'm not uh, too bothered when you did, did it, but I just wanted to check. Remember my accession commission? I do remember. Um, it is a little bit further back 
in line. The, the, what I'm working on reading right now is a graphic novel volume. Then I think yours is the next book that's up. I also have a lot of video uh, and movie reviews that have been commissioned, but I think after I get through the graphic novel I'm on, yours is the next book that I, that I have scheduled to do. Excuse me. Uh, also, the J.K. Rowling reference to Shakespeare Code is a lot more tragic now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Super chat mess. No, I, I caught it, but I, I'm so far behind. Um, which Hamilton character would you cosplay as? I don't care. I just want one of those jackets. Those coats are awesome. Would you rather see the Doctor Who episode, Stephen Hawking, Stephen Hawkins or Albert Einstein? <sighs> Neither. I mean, if you're going to make me pick one, I suppose Stephen Hawkins. Um, because they've actually had Einstein appear. It was in a mini-sode, but they did him already. Do you enjoy Jar Jar? I kind of do. I really don't. Uh, are you going to buy any of the new Doctor Who action figure sets that's just released? No. I'm not really an action figure person. Like, I'm a, I'm a souvenir person, but also a lot of this stuff is gifts. I'm not really an action figure person so much at this point. Like, I'll admire them. I'll enjoy them. It's not something I spend my own money on too much. Tweeted your video to Dan Aykroyd yet to get a response. Yeah, I don't expect you will, but thank you for trying. Um, oh, dang it. It jumped down to the bottom again. So now I got to scroll all the way back up. Um... If you watch Doctor in Distress, the sheer power of the negativity will make you the most viewed thing ever. <laughs> Finished Broadchurch Series 2 over the weekend. It's really good and worth checking out. Nowhere near the almost perfection of the first, but good fun and performances. Um, I mean, I, I thought the first series was decent. Everything I've heard is that the next two aren't as good, and so that's kind of my incentive to not bother. Maybe a Dan Aykroyd interview for Patreon. <laughs> Uh, like, I'm so bad at networking. You guys, it's not even funny. You folks. I still use guys that in my head is gender neutral. I'm still trying to get out of that habit. Still, still, years later. Underrated part of Series 7's first half is how the intros changed with the episode. I personally liked it. Uh, and yes, you're very behind. Uh, yep. Yeah. Have you ever watched Clue starring Tim Curry and Christopher Lord? I grew up on Clue. I love Clue. One plus two plus two plus one. Uh, wait, if your family tree is a wreath, does that mean there's incest in your family tree? Well, yes, that was what I was implying. But again, it's like 16... Blah, 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 blah. So, so far back that, no, I don't think that counts as incest. Uh, not in any practical sense. Um, head bowed. Oh, good girl. Finished Broadchurch Series 2. Oh, I did that. Uh, I hated the Empty Child episodes because uh, episode horrified me when I watched it when I was seven. Rewatched it five years later. Love it. I, those are fantastic episodes. That, but that, that kid is creepy. And it's great. That delivery of Call Me Master, that smile. Is this fear or attraction? Ideally, it's both. I am no Jedi. Nice. I've got, I, unfortunately, I don't have the lightsaber to hand. That didn't come down with everything else. Lightsaber's up in my bedroom. Uh, have you seen Doctor in a Dress? It's so fun in parody. Parody's uh, the NMDs, the lyrics with Doctor in a Dress, save us from this PC mess. Oh, dear. Uh, are you going to review Onward? I did. You need to go to the break room of geeks for that one. That's my secondary channel. But yes, I, I reviewed that. Uh, which Carolyn told you. <laughs> so, sorry if I'm kind of out of the loop on your reviews of late. However, what is your opinion of Red Dwarf, The Promised Land? Haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting for it to hit BritBox in the U.S. Okay, it's being mentioned so much now. I need to watch The Doctor in Distress. Uh, according to stories in some records, my Scottish clan... Uh, McInnes, uh can be traced back to the earliest days of Scottish history. So chuffed. Nice. If K-9 was the Doctor's robot dog, would V-Line be the Doctor's cat? 
Oh, that was terrible. C congratulations. Are you going to do a series review of Watchmen in one video or episode by episode reviews? Uh, it'll be a, it'll be a series because if I'd gotten to it while it was airing, I would have done episode by episode. But it'll be series unless something happens where like I need to talk about like make the first half before I unpack the second. Like that's not impossible. 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 It's hot. Uh, between the lights and the 80-something degree heat and the humidity. But most likely it'll be a, a season review. Uh, would you ever do a review of Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog? I don't... <sighs> I do it if someone commissioned me. I don't, I don't think I would otherwise. Uh, if Doctor Who did a 180 and said that the Doctor was the timeless child, would you think it would make it better or worse? <sighs> Neither. It would still be stupid just for a different reason. Now, instead of being a case of you did this horrible plot thing to the Doctor, now it would be a case of you lied about this horrible plot thing. Why the hell did you do that? That was pointless. So it's bad either way. It just be the reason why it's bad changes. So that's neither better nor worse. That's just a different flavor of stupid. Uh, just to tell you, but Flash Season 3 has a musical crossover with Supergirl. I actually did watch the musical crossover. Also, it's a Glee reunion, and Joe's actor returns to sing, as well as John Barrowman and Stein's actor. Uh, ever seen the Walter Hill movie The Assignment slash Tomboy? I saw it on Netflix, and it's just so bad. No, I have not. Um, Archvillain, it robs us of Nathaniel singing. <laughs> Oh, copyright is the Council of Geeks arch-villain. Nice. Uh, did you know Michael Jackson and Bill Cosby were supposed to be the Doctor for the Doctor Who movie? We dodged some bullets there. Um, citation needed. If Doctor Who, you know, did that, Noam Chomsky co-signed the document protecting spe free speech along with J.K. Rowling. Like a bunch of people did. And a bunch of them have since claimed that they wouldn't have signed it had they known who else was signing it. Because the that document in and of itself, it's one of those things where you read it uh, unto itself and it's like, okay. But then you look at the names underneath it and you realize it's what it's really up to. And a bunch of people did say, if I'd known who else was signing this, I wouldn't have signed it. I don't know if Chomsky was one of the people who said that or not. I do know there were multiple, though. I don't care either way. I, I just I just don't at this point. Um, have you listened to the Good Omens Quarantine Edition? Uh, that one needs a reaction video. I haven't. Uh, I've seen some of the episodes of Staged, uh, though. That was fun. Uh, one thing I'm really annoyed about with this show is... I want to tell some of the, I want to tell some of the ideas, but then again, this chat is full of writers. <laughs> Are you afraid we're going to dogpile you with suggestions? Um, let's see. I've seen the defense that losing Newt uh, it's part of the feminist theme. The argument is that she has been denied her motherhood, then loses her femininity. Hair is too short. Wait, what? I, you lost me, Ben. You completely lost me. Um, E.T. or Poltergeist? Oh, E.T. Absolutely. I didn't see Poltergeist as a kid. I saw it as an adult. And it's fine. Um, but, you know. Uh, while we're waiting for the series, did you see that Audible did an adaptation of it? Of what? You mean of like Sandman? Because um, I I did download that. I haven't I haven't listened to it yet. I have so many coats like the ones they wear in Hamilton. Oh, jealous. Uh, could have been worse. Rowling was almost in an episode of Doctor Who, replacing Waters of Mars, uh, written by Gareth Roberts of all people. We dodged a bullet. Like again, citation needed on these things. Uh, Waiting, my crewly wrote thank you note and business card. Yes, I am. I am actually really far behind on those. That's one of my missions this week is to try and catch up on that stuff going out. I've got that in merch bundles to get out the door. Um, 
I only finished Arrow Season 1 yesterday. I'm now watching The Boys Season 1. Also planning to watch Swamp Thing in the 1990 Flash before Arrow Season 2. You are busy, Rowan. My goodness. I needed to get good at networking because I'm the extrovert who adopts all the introvert friends and they never meet up if I didn't arrange it. That would do it. Uh, favorite non-Force user in Star Wars? Han. There you go. Vera's way too comfortable as the master. <laughs> Check the Discord. Ah, thank you, Carolyn. All right, let me get that pulled up. Thought I had it up. I don't. So let's... Oh, that's right, because I restarted my computer. Forgot that I did that. How are you watching stage that I need to know? Well, I know that a few weeks ago, episodes were up on YouTube. They're probably, they've probably been taken down by now. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, I'm not sure you have ever discussed Dune, so I'm not sure if it's, in, if it's on your fandom radar, but uh, if you have seen it, what do you think of the Lynch version? And two, are you looking forward to Denis Villeneuve's version? Um, I have seen the Lynch version. It's a mess. Um, and I, I mean, I'm looking forward to whatever Denis Villeneuve does next. He's become one of those filmmakers that I'm like, I don't always love what you do, but it's always interesting and I want to see it. <clears throat> uh, probably going to be there for like 15 minutes. Have to close tonight. Oh, yep. I have that. Um, which of these droids is better or why? Crichton or Marvin? Um... To read about in a story, I prefer Marvin. Because I just, I think the way that he was written and used by Douglas Adams was impeccable. For someone who I would actually have to put up with, I would take Crichton. Marvin would get old real quick. Doctor in Distress and how you would rewrite that to be good would be a challenge. Uh, no, I'm not a songwriter. I think I can see Chibs as the person who has a more positive impact on Doctor Who, even if I like Moffat's style more. Well, only time will tell on that one. Everyone forgot the best Doctor Who regeneration, yours. Ha 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 ha! Thank you for that. Do you like the new master? Yes, I do! Got to go to work. Remember McCavity! Ah, uh, thank you very much. Is Bojack too sad to commission you to watch? I don't know, because I haven't seen any of it. Uh, here's what I will say. At this point, probably the only way to get me to bump it up the list would be to commission it. I wouldn't turn it down if you did. Uh, that's cool. I just wanted to check. I commissioned that because it's the one where Banks uh, actually explores the gender switching properly. Yeah, you mentioned that, so I am curious to see that. Will you watch the Mulan live action? I might, actually, because that one actually looks like it's doing what I would want these things to do, which is to be a fresh take on the original material, as opposed to just remaking the movie Disney already made. But, you know, we'll see. Thoughts on MST3K? It's fun. That's kind of it. Kim Possible was a big influence on me growing up. Thoughts on the tune? Never watched it. I was too old. Have you seen H Bomber Guy's Sherlock is Garbage video? I have. Uh, he's, he's a little overstated in that one, but I mean, he's he does he does good work uh, in general. After I saw it, and after se series four, I couldn't enjoy the first series, the first uh, few series anymore. I mean, that's uh, that's the thing about really um, thorough criticism. Sometimes it makes you go, oh. I still enjoy the first three series and even the second episode of the fourth series of Sherlock. Um, do you have a favorite non-Who David Tennant's performance? Yes, Scrooge McDuck. Close your eyes and picture an apple, then describe what the apple looks like, please. Um, pass, confused, and pass. Uh, no, I'm more afraid of my ideas being stolen. <laughs> you say to the person who has, a, who has an author diary up on my other channel. <sighs> Honestly, though, I think a lot of authors are overly paranoid about that. Not to say that you should just spread it everywhere, but, you know. Uh, let's see. 
If Next to Normal was going to be made into a movie, who would you cast? Oh, jeez. I would want mostly unknowns in that part because I, I would want it to feel as real as possible. And I mean, it's already a heightened reality because of the musical nature of that story. Um, so and, and ideally, to me, you would ground it in lesser known cast who it's not, so you're not going like, oh, hey, it's, you know, this recognizable person. And I'm not a good person to ask for dream casting anyways. My brain doesn't do that very well. If 13 had a new costume and it was a dress, no. What would you think? I would think, please don't. I don't know why I'm asking this, but thought, but the thought crossed my mind. Like the, I don't think you, I don't think a dress is practical for the doctor. Just period. Now, if they ever wanted to do something like how the doctor put on a tux to go to um, that party and put not this doctor, but whoever the next male doctor is in an evening dress for that, I would be all for it but only on that one occasion. Uh, any good age rating for Discord? <laughs> Not entirely sure what that question means. Watched Aliens of London and World War III recently. Remember Rose called the doctor so gay? Uh, no, I actually completely forgot that. That was weird and not funny. Was it supposed to be funny? Probably was supposed to be. Thoughts on how Churchill was presented in Victory of the Daleks? Or as someone who's not huge into Churchill history, he seemed fine. I'm gonna have to wrap it up soon. I'm gonna, I'm trying to catch up and burn through questions. Gotta go, stay cool. Oh, thank you very much, Donna. It was good to see you. Say hi to Liz, I will. Top three Ghibli movies. I have a video up on my ranking of them. Favorite Bond film from each of the six actors? Well, I haven't seen the Timothy Dalton or um, the George Lazenby, but uh, other than that, it would be Goldfinger, um, For Your Eyes Only, GoldenEye, and Skyfall. Uh, yeah, I was referring to the video. I thought it was good. Sorry. Thoughts on the cat being confirmed as a, as a psychopath? Um, I haven't seen that. I don't remember that. Can you end the video with McCavity again? Well, we'll see if I can remember. Um, trying to catch up. Ah! Where was I? Um, you did that stream reaching out to Blair White. After you did that, did anyone more involved in the online left discourse tell you uh, that was a bad or dangerous idea? People left comments saying that, well, no. Nobody said, I, nobody really said that I shouldn't have made the response video. There were some people when I expressed the idea that I would be willing to talk to her in a non-recorded um, manner that that wouldn't be worth anything, but it, it was moot. You know, that was never going to happen anyway. Um, let's see. What celeb birthday do you share your birthday with besides yours? I have no idea. Not a clue, because it's the kind of thing I just don't care. Um, my nude answer was not coherent, sorry. It's apparently meant to be a criticism of women in male genres being written like men. Her losing her short hair makes her look like a man. Huh. Not sure I buy that. Uh, there's no such thing as too old. Uh, you're only as old as you feel. Well, with how my back has been feeling lately, I am feeling quite old. Uh, though I should qualify that as a boomer writing in 1996 trying to explore gender switching. Like, I'll take that into account when I read it. Uh. Losing Newt, whom she uh, sort of becoming a surrogate mother towards, is another aspect of femininity that was stolen from her. Probably explaining this badly, aren't I? Um, like, I get, I get why they did it. I just don't care what your justification is. It was wrong. It was wrong and stupid and awful and negated the previous movie. So I don't care what thematic rationalization you have for it. It was horrible. And... Nothing you can tell me will convince me otherwise because no matter what you tell me, I'll go, oh, okay, it still negates the climax of the previous film. That doesn't fix the problem I have with it. 
was just asking because apparently some people picture a cartoonish apple, some people picture green apples instead of red, some people can't even do it. I mean, I would have pictured a green apple because that's what I prefer to eat. Uh, Marvin or, uh, or Fleer is M-O. Uh, m -so Um... I feel like I probably get less irritated with Flair uh, in Soho, at least on a personal level. Okay, one more idea uh, that will happen in an episode. Basically, the show is essentially about villains. I'll explain the rest in another comment, not enough space. Uh, is Ford Prefect the doctor in distress? He could be. Uh, least favorite Hamilton song? Oh, huh. Um, none of them really stuck out to me as the dud. So I don't really have an answer for that. I mean, if, if I, if I like re-listen to it with that in mind, I could come up with an answer, but I'm not going to think of one um, off the top of my head. Let's see. A multiverse traveler from a universe where they watch the show comes in and meets a character. He says how much he loves her and calls her precious, so she tortures him. <laughs> um, interesting. Uh, this seems a little weird to ask, but, uh, but, you know, any way to beat procrastinating? Um, build habits is the best thing that I can advise. Uh, it's a problem I have too, and I battle it a lot. Uh, what is the episode with the reformed evil histor- Oh, it was the episode with the reformed evil historical figures. Oh, that's right. Do we consider that confirmed, though? Because, like, the, like, all of the, wasn't all of the psychological information coming from a guy who turned out to be the secret villain? But, I mean, like, I buy that. He's a cat. Cats are psychopaths. <laughs> Would you ever watch My Little Pony Friendship is Magic if somebody paid me? Uh, what is your favorite episode of Torchwood minus Countryside? That one freaks me out. I mean, I lump, um... Children of Earth has one story, so I would probably say that. Happy birthday to me tomorrow. Good night. Have a ha have a good birthday. Do you prefer uh, green or red grapes? Green. Red ones, they, something, I don't know. They don't taste right to me. Sorry, I wasn't trying to get you to change your mind. Just thought it might be interesting to mention. A explanation is not justification. I get it. Yes, thank you for saying that. That is one of, that is one of the drums that I will never stop beating. Like when I tell people I don't like something, they're like, well, here's what it means. I'm like... It's not a question of whether I, I, I know what it means. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, wait, before I go, rest in peace, Regis Philbin. I, Regis was not a guy I, I, really, um, I really knew all that much about. Is YouTube your main job? Well, at the moment, YouTube's my only job because I was laid off. So um, technically, it's not really enough to cover my bills, though. So um, working on that. How would you fix The Simpsons, or do you think it's actually all right, even if it's less popular than it once was? See, I don't know the current status of The Simpsons, because I haven't watched it in years. So I, I couldn't actually tell you. Uh, what's your favorite song from Hamilton? Favorite was probably... It, it would have been either um, You'll Be Back or... Um, what did I miss? I like both of those a lot. Have you seen The Elephant Man? I have not. Not in its entirety. I've seen bits and pieces. Uh, I actually enjoyed the previous season of The Simpsons. Did you hear Olivia Coleman will guest star in the upcoming season? I mean, her and everybody else. Like, it did, is it even a mark of anything to guest on The Simpsons anymore? I feel like they're running out of celebrities. Oh my goodness, I've actually caught up. Did you hear The Phantom of the Opera closed in the West End? I didn't. Huh. Rank YouTube against your previous employers. Um, about on par. <laughs> uh, about as transparent as my old employers were. Uh, would you watch my show when it's done? I'd give it a shot. Uh, it's enough to pay my bills yet. Gathers cash for Doctor in Distress episode fun. <laughs> What would be your ideal sci-fi storyline if you could have any desired crossover? Um, 
Oh, I don't know. Cause like I'm not I'm not I'm actually not that big of a crossover person by nature. Have you seen Solaris? Which do you prefer, US or Russian? I have only seen the US version and I didn't care that much for it. Have you heard of a 2004 film called Collateral? Not only have I heard of it, it's on my list of films to do for good movie, bad ending. So, see how much heat I get for that one. How would you describe the films of Sergio Leone? Um, as movies that I have only seen like one of and I don't even remember which one now. Andrew Lloyd Webber or Stephen Sondheim? Oh, boy that is tough like lord lloyd weber when he's good i do like him more but sondheim is good m more frequently uh the simpsons is what doctor who is for british actors you can't call yourself a true american actor until you've been on the simpsons that sounds about right i used to enjoy the cat in the hat movie when i was a kid i'm sorry did did your parents not like you Good movie, bad ending uh, for the whole of human existence. <laughs> it's the 10th anniversary of Sherlock. Um, do you have any words to say about it on its anniversary? It was mostly good. <laughs> Charlie Heaton, Jonathan from Stranger Things, was meant to play the Elephant Man for a TV adaptation and people were up in arms. Why would they be up in arms about that? I mean, the, I'm not, a, I'm not personally aware. They could look and it would be nice if they did, but I'm not personally aware of any working actors with anything close to the physical condition that John Merrick had. So unless you found an actor who did have some, and even if you did, like we know what John Merrick looked like. So even if you did, it would probably still be prosthetically modified to more closely resemble exactly how we know he looked based off, you know, the, the images and everything else we have of him. So uh, unless you found an actor with a similar physical condition, anyone you get is going to have to be buried under prosthetics. So uh, that... I'm not entirely sure what they would have been up in arms about. Unless, the, unless there was actually a campaign to get a, an actor with, uh, with a similar physical condition in the part, which actually I would be all in favor of. I'm not aware of any working actors with anything close to his physical condition, though. So that would be a hunt. It'd be a hunt that I'd like to see them undergo. I don't know how fruitful it would be though then again i'm not a casting agent so what the heck do i know favorite ducktales character um i'd scrooge yeah it's got to be scrooge especially in the new one uh i did actually enjoy cat in the hat but i never had the dr seuss books read to me so i didn't have anything better to compare to oh yeah that would do it Grave of the Fireflies always makes me cry. Grave of the Fireflies is sadness condensed into it's just huh. man, that thing is brutal. I've yet to mention to you that I love Jim Carrey's Grinch. Ooh, my parents were rather neutral about me, by the way. Oh, that tracks. Um, I do have to wrap it up soon, folks. That's my point. The only actor I can think of is the one from Under the Skin. Oh, yeah, that's right. See, I've forgotten. See, Under the Skin is a movie that, like, I vividly remember certain parts, but big swaths of it, my brain has tried to expunge because that movie deeply unsettled me. Like, to my core, that movie unsettled me. So, I I've actually forgotten about him. You know, it that would work if they, if they could get him. How to Fix the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Stop after the third one. There you go. I actually think the third one is underrated. Well, whether or not you have any interest in watching it, do you? Uh, did you know that Zac Efron has his own travel documentary series on Netflix? Yes, I was aware. I saw trailers. All right.
I do have to wrap it up. Uh, I've gone a little longer than uh, normally planned, but thank you all for tuning in. Uh, if you are anywhere and nearly as overheated as I am, I hope you manage to stay cool. Um, so I hope that uh, you are being well, being safe. It's, it's still important. I've got a jar of dirt. <laughs> um, so, thank you for tuning in. And please remember that you are beautiful, you are valid, and you are loved. You're the council. I just run the meetings. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>